You can either buy an integrated smart blind solution from the likes of IKEA or Lutron or you can transform your dumb blinds to smart using the Ajax smart blind motor. Opening up the box we have the various documents, you want to keep these as the instructions are very good. I'll be showing how you can set this up with ALEXA in this video but if you guys would like to see how you can set it up with Google please let me know in the comments. Next up we have the motor itself, it is a chunky piece however it won't stand out too much once installed. If you have curtains then it will be even less of an eyesore. The power adapter features a 2.5 meter cable which should be good for most scenarios. This is the provided guide to mark the holes for the backplate and the backplate itself. The plastic plugs and screws for installing the backplate to the wall. And finally we have the wheels for the motor, I'll show you what these are for in a bit. The backplate slots onto the motor like this, absolutely no hassle at all. There is quite a lot of freedom in terms of vertical movement. An important thing to note is once the backplate is installed you won't have much freedom to move the motor up, but you'll have plenty of leeway if you want to lower it. You can take the motor off the backplate by pressing in this nubbin at the bottom. With what I just mentioned regarding the vertical movement, you want to measure the distance from the bottom of the backplate to the bottom of the nubbin. I measure this to be just over 15mm or 1.5cm. When you plug in the cable, you'll need additional space so that you're not overly bending the wire. So add about 40mm or 4cm to the 1.5cm we calculated for the previous part. Because the hole in the backplate is a little further up, you want to add 1.5cm to the other two values, bringing our total to at least 7cm. Now that you have the calculations out of the way you want to use the guide to see where the back plate would sit. For me the beaded string was way too long so I opened up the connector piece and cut the bead down to size. Don't take too much off to begin with. I'd suggest taking off 8 beads or even less at a time and recheck with the guide. The only other thing to check before you install is whether the right motor part is being used. I only say this because the part that is pre-fitted into the motor wasn't the right fit for me. The beads are sliding through so the motor won't be working very efficiently or at all to open the blinds. I ended up using the traditional cog design piece rather than the interlaced one. Because I open the blinds using the left part of the beaded string I want the motor to spin anti-clockwise or to the left when I press the up button. This means the switch at the bottom should be on the left. You can use the provided tool to change this. When I press the up button it's rotating to the left and when I press the down button it's rotating to the right which is what I want. If you want the opposite to happen, simply flip the switch. If there's a chance the connector piece on the beaded string will come into contact with the motor then you can change it over to the provided metal one which is much smaller. It's likely the original connector piece may get stuck in the motor and you don't want that. Before we actually install the motor to the wall we want to do a pre-test with the motor in hand in case something goes horribly wrong. Slot the cog into the enclosed space and wrap the beaded wire around the cog. With the blinds in the fully closed position, press the up button to start opening them. Hit the stop button at the right moment and then hold down the stop button for 6 to 8 seconds to store the value. Do the same for the down button, press stop and then press stop again and hold for 6 to 8 seconds to remember the closed position. The LED indicators above the up and down buttons will flash to indicate all is well. Just give it a quick test before confirming that you're happy. You can change this after installing it to the wall but it's always a safer bet to set and forget before you start the drilling. Here is what the wall looks like with the two holes drilled and the plugs in there. I actually messed up the first attempt so I used my own hardware for the second attempt. You'll need a 5mm drill bit for the provided plugs. You can see the bottom hole is about 7 to 8cm above the bottom of the wall to account for the power connector and the bottom of the motor. I also cut down the beaded string so that when it came time to wrap it around the cog on the motor it wasn't too long. Screw in the back plate and simply slot on the motor. Open the Smart Life app, select the small home appliances option from the menu on the left and scroll down to curtains Wi-Fi. Select the option and connect to Wi-Fi. I've already got other devices connected so it already has my details. Now you'll need to hold down the up and stop button at the same time to get the motor into pairing mode. The trick here is to press the stop button first and then the up button as you don't want to manipulate the blinds. After about 6 to 8 seconds the lights will flash blue and red. In the app confirm that the LED indicator is blinking rapidly and it'll take a few moments to connect the smart motor to your Wi-Fi. This is happening in real time just to give you an idea of how quick or slow it is. 
from hitting next until the successful connection it took around 25 seconds which is super fast in my opinion once connected you're greeted by a message saying that the smart blind motor is available in the alexa app rename it here and that'll propagate through you can now control the blinds via the smart life app there's a button to open the blinds, close them and you can pause them in between states. At 0% the blinds are open and they're closed at 100%. Without specifically creating a routine in ALEXA you can open and close the blinds by telling the Amazon assistant to set the blinds to a certain percentage. Set the living room blinds to 100%. Set the living room blinds to 0% Here I'm creating a routine to open the blinds at sunrise Select the location, I already had one created for my home address so I used that I want the routine to run every day so I don't need to change anything there For the action I select smart home then all devices, scroll down to the blinds and select. Since the blind motor is always plugged in, I don't need to do anything there. For the percentage value, zero represents the blinds in an open state. In order to make things easier, I also added a routine to open the blinds in a more user-friendly manner. I want the blinds to open when I say open the living room blinds. Like the previous step, select the blinds from the smart home menu and set the percentage value to 0. Alexa, open the living room blinds. Alexa, close the living room blinds. As you heard in the video, the noise from the motor is noticeable, but at the same time, it's quite bearable. In time, you will get used to it. I repeated the same steps for closing the blinds with the voice command being close the living room blinds and the percentage value set to 100. For now, these routines are all I really need. In the future, when I find more ways of incorporating the blinds into my routines, I'll be sure to document them and I'll let you guys know. Overall, I'm really happy with the setup process and how well the motor incorporates with ALEXA. I've had no issues with the connection and in the few days since the install, the motor has worked flawlessly, touch wood. It's priced at £90 in the UK and I think it's a worthy investment if you're looking to transform your blinds. Thanks everyone for watching, if you enjoyed the video a like would be appreciated. If you're still here, I'm going to guess you enjoyed the video so why not subscribe. I'm open to covering any tech item out there so suggestions are welcome in the comments. See you in the next one.